Trey with Guns America. Today we're looking at an interesting product. It is the Sig Sauer P365X Macro. This thing um, is a relatively new compact pistol from Sig. Uh, it's not brand new, so you've probably seen it or heard about it before. But it holds 17 rounds. You can see it's tiny. It's the same width as a regular P365. The only width difference is on the rail. It's actually got a real Picatinny rail here. Uh, it's cut for a red dot, which I've got SIG's new uh, red dot on here. It's also got a ported slide. So the barrel is short, the slide is ported, fits flush here. Uh, we're clear right now, as you can see. This is a Streamlight TLR7 sub on here. And um, what we're gonna do today uh, is we're going to go shoot the plate rack with this and get some times on just the gun the way it is. So this is pretty stock. And then we're going to switch to this Icarus Precision X Macro grip. This is aluminum. It's got better texture. I think it feels absolutely amazing in my hand. What I can tell you is it's kind of cold out here right now. It's probably like 40 degrees maybe it's only 36 i don't know but it's cold this feels cold in my hand so that's one thing i don't like already but the texture's better it's got double undercuts it's got a flared magwell the beaver tail on this just feels like it was just made for my hand i can't tell you how good this feels so i have not shot this yet we're gonna go run the plate rack we're gonna time it with the pack timer we're gonna kind of get a baseline for what i can shoot the plate rack with with stock and then we're gonna switch it over to the icarus and by the way this is not a serialized part this can be shipped to you through the mail it's icarus precision who makes this they make them for other models of the p365 as well it's got the the pick rail on the bottom i mean it's a gorgeous piece of work uh, this is the bronze color i think it looks really cool so we're gonna go shoot the play rack get a baseline and then we'll do some youtube magic and um, swap the serialized part which is the trigger or the fire control group the fcu into this and we'll do it again so I was thinking about this and while I love this mag, uh, I would like to do this from concealment or from a holster. And I actually am using the Safari Land uh, Incog X, their holster. This thing is awesome. Uh, it's an appendix style holster, fits right in here. But I might not, I haven't done tons of practice with it yet. And so I might not be super consistent between both. So instead of drawing from a holster and having that be part of the equation, I'm just gonna start at low ready so that we don't have any drawing. So it's just literally about the grip and the way it feels. Today we're using a pack timer. If you haven't seen one of these before, I can set it so that I can push the button, it counts down, gives me a beep, at the beep I go, I'm gonna shoot six plates, and then it counts the time in between each shot and the final shot, gives us the time. That's what we're looking for to see if we can kind of meaningfully compare the two. Ammo today is sponsored by Winchester. That's what we're shooting. Winchester 9mm 115 grain FMJs. These are perfect for uh, range stuff, exactly what we're doing today. It's pretty clean, it's pretty accurate. Uh, I have not had any issues with it. This is not self-defense ammo, these are FMJs, but uh, I love how small the box is. So check out Winchester's target and practice ammo. Okay, well, I had a couple makeup shots there. That was a 433. So make that what it's worth. I'm gonna reset the play rack. We're gonna do it one more time. Uh, that's one thing about these 17 round mags is I've got the ammo. So just don't even cut. Let's just run it one more time. See if I can shoot it clean. Uh, Cause that kind of sucked. Sorry guys. All right, here we go again. There we go. There it is clean. I still have ammo left. That was a 352. So that's a three and a half second plate rack uh, with this little tiny P365 X macro. So uh, I don't feel like that was blazing fast. I know I could go faster, but that was clean. So that's, I think that's a pretty good number. So that's a 352, we'll go with that one. Let's go switch things around and see what it looks like using the Icarus Precision. Okay, so guys, that switch over took about five minutes. What you do is you take, you make sure it's clear, take the slide off, and then there's this one pin right here. You drive it out, the whole trigger control group just levers out, drop it in the other gun. It's actually harder to take the uh, mag release out, but you do that by pushing it up. You can see there's a tiny hole in there, shove an Allen wrench in it, and then this top piece come sliding out. You can see that gap, you just pull it out this way once you've got that Allen wrench, that Allen piece in there. And then you just switch it over. So super fast, super easy. 
Loving the way it feels. We're gonna see what it does on the shot timer. <laughs> So, first round was a 390, which is better than I did on the first round on the other one. We're gonna give it another go here though and see. Man, it points so good. All right, here we go. Ah! One extra makeup shot, but that was a 357. So I think our fastest time before was a 355, which that's basically the same thing. I feel like I can go faster. I feel like I'm in more control. Like it just feels like it fits my hand better. I'm I'm liking it. It's not quite what I'm used to because I've been shooting that other gun a, a little bit, but I might reload it and go one more time and see how fast I can go without the wheels falling off. Woo, that one was a little faster. There's a three, one, two. So that's pretty good, 10 yard play rack, uh, little carry gun. Uh, I mean, this is stock trigger, stock everything other than this Icarus Precision Grip. That's pretty fast uh, play rack. I haven't been out here practicing, this is cold. So what you saw is what you get. So once again, three, one, two, just barely over three seconds on the play rack. Woo! 17 round mag dump. That'll tell you whether you can control the gun. I think I had every hit on target. Hey, how about that? One for one. And that was a 257 that time. So I've shot, I finished off the box uh, on the Zikris Precision. I like it a lot. It fits my hand well. Um, that's the best part about it. I mean, it's aluminum. It's got these spots for your fingers up here or your thumb. They're kind of like a gas pedal up here. Everything on the gun still works fine. Everything locks open. Slide really still works. Um, I think it's just, I think it's awesome. I mean, this beaver tail reminds me of a super expensive custom 2011. So go check out Icarus Precision. This is the SIG P365X macro, ported, nice sights, uh, dot on it, and the Streamlight TLR7 sub. But this is a pick rail. You can put any line on there you want. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time here at Guns America.